All right, so this looks interesting. I stumbled on extensions for the GitHub CLI. So if we run the GitHub extension and then I'll just let it print out the subcommands. All right, you can see I could list installed extensions. Of course, I don't have any because I just figured this out. So if I want, I believe I could probably get some of a search here. I can list out some of the extensions that are available. And in reading through the list here, you know what, this one looks interesting here. This one's from GitHub and it has to do with Copilot. I'm gonna actually try this out. Okay, so let's just figure this out here. Install and see if I can just plunk that in. Hey, that worked, all right. So now let's just get the help overall. See if there's some new, oh, okay, yep, right here. There's a new sub command that was added. Let's see if completion works. Oh, hey, look, completion works too. Okay, so I have three choices here to configure options, explain a command and suggest a command. Okay, let's just try this out here. Um, ls-al, sure. Oh, cool, it's used to list files. The A specifies that we wanna include hidden files, spot on, and then use a long listing format. Let's see if we could do something like, um, actually let's do copilot, suggest. I'm not getting a sub-completion of the sub-sub commands. Let's do, how can I show disk usage? What kind of command? Um, yeah, generic shell command. Can I just figure that out? All right, df-h. Okay, so disk free space. Yeah, not exactly what I wanted. So let's try this again. Let's revise the question of a given directory instead of the entire disk free space. Okay, there you go, disk usage. Let's copy that. And I'll split the screen here, change over to a safe place, run that command. I guess I could have put the path to it, but we'll just do that. And yeah, there you go. There's the disk usage. All right, so my general impression is the interface is way too busy at the command line. I wonder if there's a way to streamline that. There are probably some options I could pass or maybe some configuration defaults I could set. But in general, cool feature. I'm actually going to try and see if I can't plug this into my line editor inside of Z Shell and see if I can't get suggestions based on the command that I'm currently typing. If I can pull that off, I'll show you that later on.